Whenever you want to refine your animation to make things start fast or end slowly, to change whether you have hold frames, you can just study the position of things without interpolation, then you want to use something called the graph editor. To use this tool, let's go ahead and create something very, very basic, a simple solid that will animate. So let's go to our layer menu, choose new, and create a brand new solid. I'm going to make mine pretty bright color like this green here, but choose any color that you like. And we're going to say OK. Now grab any corner and simply resize it and go ahead and put it in the upper left hand corner like so. Now let's go ahead and animate this. So with this guy selected, we're going to hit the P on the keyboard to open up its position properties. And we're going to enable the good old stopwatch. And we're going to move over just a little bit and grab our object and move it down right about here. Move over just a little bit more in the timeline and move your object right about here. When we scrub our current time indicator, we should have a basic animation. And we do. So let's say we want to animate this inside the graph editor or just simply modify it. Click on this icon right here to open up the graph editor. And I'm going to go ahead and move this up so we can focus on what we have here. Now it looks a little scary. We have simply the value of whatever we're changing. In this case, the position. And we have these two lines here. Now if you don't see these, that's because you might have some of the settings I have not selected. So for example, you can go here and you can choose to edit the value graph. And I also have my show graph tools on. I can also go here to show a transform box whenever I'm selecting something. You can have snapping on if you want. You can click here to have everything auto zoom to the graph height. You can click here if you want to fit your selection to the view. And that will stretch everything out. Or you can go back to the graph height or whatever you want to do. You can fit all the views in the graph. And you can go here to choose to separate the dimensions of your graph. So you can look over here and you'll see that change. So I click here and now I can see the separate positions here. Click here again and now everything is on one line. So this is a little easier to figure out exactly what's going on. I can see that X is the red line and Y is the green line. So what I could do with these guys is I can grab, let's say, the red line here, which don't forget represents the ground plane, and I can move it. And I'm changing its value. So on frame zero, instead of it being all the way at zero, which is up here, I can take the red and move it and manually changing the animation right here by using the graph editor. Likewise, I can change its Y value, which is up and down the same way. I'll grab this frame and I'll move the value and I'm putting the cube somewhere else. I can grab multiple frames by simply drag selecting like so and I can change the way the interpolation happens with these guys over here. So let me go ahead and show you. We have the ability to edit the selected keyframes. We can turn on something called a hold frame, which will pretty much give us a very linear animation, which means the cube isn't going to actually move. It's simply going to appear where it is indicated in the graph. I'll go ahead and demonstrate this. Notice that? It doesn't move to that location. It just winds up there. So if I want to have animation, I have to turn it back on to something like linear or a bezier. So this is auto bezier. And now we have handles that allow us to create smoother animation if we need to. So I can go ahead and grab these and change the curve. We even have something called easing. So easing allows you to have things start fast or end slowly or have a nice motion in between. And that's what these icons allow you to do over here. These are your easing options. So you can grab, for example, the last two keyframes and you can choose one of these options and you'll see that the, the, the graph changes. All right, so we can have easing in, easing out, and it will change the smoothness of the animation. Once you're done with the graph editor, simply click this icon again and you'll be back in your timeline.